Ramnaresh Sarwan's tussle with the West Indies Cricket Board took another twist when he, Sarwan, and the lead counsel for the West Indies Players Association in recent actions against the West Indies Cricket Board, Dave Kisun, both resigned from the executive of the West Indies Players Association. In a statement, the WIPA acknowledged that both Sarwan, a former West Indies captain and middle order batsman, and Kisun have contributed to the progress of the WIPA as an organization that truly represents West Indies players. In the absence of a statement from Sarwan and Kisun, speculation is out there that Sarwan, having scored a $161,000 judgment against the West Indies Cricket Board, may be looking to patch up things and once again wear maroon and white. Sarwan had lodged an appeal in conjunction with the West Indies Players Association in March 2011 for what his legal team said was unfairly questioning in public his fitness and attitude. This, according to Sarwan, effectively cost him not only a central contract for the 2010-2011 season, but also damaged his reputation as a professional cricketer and sullied his career as an international cricketer. In the absence of first-class cricket being played in Guyana, Sarwan has been playing with English County Leicestershire. Football fans will be in for two packed weeks of action as the Kashif and Shanghai tournament organizers announced its launching on Saturday. This is the 23rd edition of the tournament and comes days after Banks DIH launched its Banks Beer Knockout Tournament, also scheduled to kick off on December 16. The Kashif and Shanghai Tournament this year will be one with a difference where there will be no foreign teams invited and the organizers will be without their main sponsor GTNT. But even though Kashif Mohammed has called the running off of two tournaments simultaneously senseless flexing of muscles, he said he expects a good tournament. We have good quality teams in our tournament, but you know we regret the whole situation with the impasse because like you're saying, it's dividing football down the middle because we have some quality teams out there that we would like to be a part of our tournament, but the rules are the rules, like the president said. And you know we have to go with the rules because we have to ask Guyana Football Federation for permission. We were working with them for 23 years and because of, of that um, collaboration, our tournament has grown. Acting President of the Guyana Football Federation, Franklin Wilson, also had his say on the controversy in golf and the sport and said that at the end of the day, all the parties involved must look out for the interests of the youths involved in the game. We need to all be on the same page. Yes, you will have differences moving along, but we have to agree for the sake of our, of our young people. Um, it's commendable that the Kashif and Shanghai organization will be running an under 13 tournament uh, in the month of December as well, along with the senior tournament. And that's the focus of the Guyana Football Federation Junior Development. For Capital News, Royal Collins.